hi welcome to architectural expo studio today i'm gonna to show you about the lighting effects in uh, sketchup and especially in uh, lumion because many of the people they already requested and they send it to me hundreds of messages to discuss especially this bedroom that how we can get accurate and uh, realistic lights so i'm gonna to show you and uh, to discuss this project especially because here you can see that I put a picture here because this is the real picture where I take it already from the I already take I already received from the client who sent it to me this project that these are the real pictures they already took it from his balcony so this is a small bedroom so you can see here that I put only the spotlights here only to illuminate my room the rest I didn't add any cove light cove light we have here just I put it there and especially for the curtain area on this portion also and one thing more that when I received the pictures of the, the real picture so you can see that I crop you know 50% uh, of the picture I already crop it because we don't have any sky these old things later on we can also adjust this in uh, Photoshop but the big big issue is that when you will receive images from the client you have to modify it in photoshop you know we cannot put it directly uh, into our 3ds because the situation and these all things later on to adjust this it will be too much difficult so the first thing that when you will receive real pictures we have to put it in photoshop and there we can adjust the resolutions and uh, especially to remove the skies because in uh, lumion when we will import these uh, this project definitely we have to put a realistic sky these all things so later on it will be too much difficult to remove because if you will put the sun in front of the window so you can you will be not see any shadow or uh, any sun uh, which will be coming inside to your room so definitely you have to remove the background and keep it low because here i cannot you know i cannot do it more because i was thinking that later on in photoshop i'll remove these areas while render because we have uh, we can see that we have a glass bullet here on this one side so Let's go to Lumion to see that what kind of light I used specially for this room. This was the whole apartment and uh, you can see this is my bedroom. This is LCD wall and uh, here we have a cupboard and uh, splits and we are here I use it here on this portion you can see that I use a rectangle light which one light I will show you here this is this one light I keep it here and then you can adjust the color these all things that which kind of color you will need it here in this option in Lumion we can see these are the fall off fall off means that if you will put your light and if you want to illuminate this area this whole area if you want to illuminate up to here so then you have to in you know decrease if you want to get a specific light that it should be not illuminate the full panel so you have to keep it full otherwise you can see that while decreasing the fall off you can see the light is coming too much down while increasing it it's up to there so according to my 3d i was thinking that i will prepare a day view so at that why that's why i don't want to illuminate that the yellow effect that it will affect my panel so that's why i keep it on the top and i increase the quality of uh, um, fall off and uh, secondly here you can see that i put another rectangle light here on this area which i did not apply the fall off too much why because on this area i will need the light because the light is coming definitely from this one side from outside so that's why i keep it that this area should be little bit illuminated because the sun is coming inside that's why the other lights you can see which i use more you know most of the time i am using in my 3ds most of the people they are asking such type of question that which kind of lights you are using in lumion so the first light we have to use a massive light which is the most important thing 
why i keep emissive light low the reason is that if you will increase emissive light you can see this one this effect it will becoming you know you cannot see your light clearly and uh, while render there will be too much fog inside your rendering so that's why mostly i am keeping it here the emissive light that it's showing that the light is on and the other side there is a spotlights the first thing that i am using for lighting especially in the interior these are the spotlights which is here so i am mostly using this one light you know lamp 08 this light i am using because these are too much you know if you want to the opacity you want to keep it low but the problem is that while using this one light if you little bit increase it you will see you will see a big spot on your uh, floor on uh, your bed or these you know in the other element so that's why i didn't want it so i am using most of the time this lamp light which is this one if you click here so the same thing here that the angle if you want to illuminate the full area so i keep the light here that the sun is coming from this one side so definitely this one area you can see here that this area is illuminated because of this light and i keep i didn't uh, you know keep it too much brightness because later on it will be too much difficult to uh, keep the lighting means that the sun and the same the spotlight to keep in the same direction and it will be not give you a realistic view because on this side you will see a big spot if i increase the brightness so that's why i keep it on a, <coughs> on a medium size on the medium level and uh, you can see here the brightness you can increase if you want so i mostly i'm keeping it 22 then i add another light on this one angle which illuminate this area then i keep another light here so the rest i didn't put any lighting you can see on this portion i didn't put any lighting and if you will check here these all are rectangle lights which the same lighting as i told you for the cove light i am using we have cove light here on this area so these are the lighting tricks which i am doing specially for the lumen and if you will go outside outside if you will have a look this one area i keep the opacity little bit low means that i did not illuminate too much because while when the sun will hit this area this area will be look too much bright that's why that's why i keep this area little bit you know the opacity i little bit increase it means the transparency is on you can see here it's not too much because you will see the greenery here on this portion so I, that's i don't i don't want it so from here if i will go to my camera so you can see that the sky it's already merged whatever the realistic sky already apply on my background so you can see that there i can see the building through but the good thing is that the sky and whatever the picture sky we have it's already merged but later on we will also work on photoshop that how we can remove or uh, you know to keep this picture more illuminated to show it little bit realistic and the second thing that the saturation you can also control the saturation of this picture here in the lumens so most of the people they don't know about the saturation so you can keep also the saturation you know if you want to increase it if you want to decrease it so you can so from here i keep it i keep it you know as as a default it is one and the second thing that uh, <coughs> for the lighting the most important thing is the settings you know mostly the people they are asking the same question that what kind of setting you are doing for your interior you know the big problem is that if i want to share my settings with you if the sun in my 3d the sun is coming from this direction okay which is going from this direction and your 3d the opening is from this side so how it's possible that the same settings when you will you know when you will import it in your file so you will get the same result no it's not possible and even if you want to you know the the real sky if you want to change the direction of the settings definitely it will affect affect your 3d the 3d quality of render so you have to adjust it you know you cannot get if i will share anything with you you cannot get a specific result otherwise on sketchup you know if if your opening is from this one side do one thing come in sketchup and you can rotate your model means that the, the opening is from this one side you can rotate rotate your model just select the whole model and you can rotate it from this one side so then little bit adjustment you have to do it means the big big thing is real you know in the rendering form if you will come here you can see color correction here 
this is the most important thing for the Lumion rendering because from here you can decide that which kind of render you want even from here you can convert it into night means that uh, now this one area you can see that the sun is coming from this one side if I keep the temperature uh, you know at this temperature I've increased it so definitely it will be give, give us more yellowness and if I decrease it so you will get blue so that is the reason that these areas we have we can play this one limit high this is we we are using this one option for the illumination of our 3d that you know whatever the lights we have it will be illuminated the whole space especially this option we are using in the interior it should be you know it depends that if you if you this area is dark so you can decrease it from here so you will get more illumination in the 3d and these are the exposure and the second thing we have uh, analog color lab what is this one this is just like a filter that we are using in photoshop mostly the people they are asking the question that what is analog analog is just like that a filter that we are using in uh, in photoshop that we have the collection there and there is another filters like blur and there is effects we can find in photoshop and we can paste it on photoshop uh, scene so this is the thing the analog it's like a filter and i am using most of the time you can see here it will be changed most of the time i am using the first one keep it full and little bit not too much because if you will keep it like this you can see it's like a filter totally the scene is changed so keep it little bit 0.1 which is fine for the exterior you can keep it on two on it depends on the 3d of the scene means that if you are render if you want to render a cloudy scene and these all things at that time you have to keep it in the middle and just increase the amount this is the first thing the second thing is real sky real sky means the selection of the sky if you will put the sky this one into your scene it's totally changed you can see your scene is totally changed so most of the time i am using i because i don't want to keep this one too much light here because you cannot control it later on it will be gives you a really really sharp edges the first thing and the second thing that this area will be totally too much white so mostly I am trying to keep it a cloudy sky which is this one you can see a you know a light color of light inside in your 3d and the rest in Photoshop then you can remove the background whatever you have you can remove it from there so these cloudy skies even in if you want so you can use it for your exterior if you want so you can use it for interior this is for both of uh, them you you if you want so you can use it the the second thing is your material selection you know you have to select a good quality of material for your render and uh, this one area later on i will tell you know in another tutorial i will show you that how i am preparing the bed materials and these all things later on and the second thing that small small things you know i'm adding here paintings books these all things you know in your 3d if you will keep it empty it will be not not looking good so the good thing that in sketchup if you will want if we want to use it anything it will be a big disaster why the file will become too much heavy so here in lumen is already providing us lots of things if you want so we you can come here in indoor and this one decoration here you can find lots of things you know books even cloths and uh, these are the decoration pieces small small things we can add it here some books and these all stuff if you want to use furniture electrical glass kitchens you can find everything here on this option so the most important thing is your render that how you will select the lighting and uh, to illuminate the whole room this first thing is your sky that your sky from where you are you want to put your sky because if you want to keep it on the middle you, the light will become directly it, it's depend on your scene that whenever you load any lighting effect or anything in your uh, 3d at that time you have to keep the lights everything that it should be matched with the, your environment means that outside everything is light and inside you are putting the lights you know too much bright which is also not right you have to keep everything with the contrast but this is the the second point and the third point is that the sun this one you know if this option you put it here so then you can control your sky through through uh, sun height send heading from here you can control then you cannot control real sky so this is the first thing we can also understand because i will also show you that how when we will need that uh, the real sky should be down the real sky will be on but you can control your sun direction from here from heading 
the sky will be remain same only the sun direction you can change it from this effect this is the second thing hopefully you understand the lighting and uh, the effects of the lights and i will prepare another tutorial which already many people they already comments on that one that show us that which kind of lighting you are using for your exterior which i already prepare a tutorial on uh, for the, for you know for the the people who understand hindi i already prepare it for those people but in english i will try my level best to prepare a uh, tutorial also in english that mostly the people you know commonly they are asking the same question that if you have a tutorial for this one because we cannot understand hindi so that's why i'll prepare it and uh, i will upload soon inshallah thank you